Would I have to earn more or less in Civvy Street to live and maintain the same lifestyle that I do now as a corporal in the British Army? Hey everyone, and welcome to The Savvy Squaddy. In this video, I'm going to see how much I would have to earn if I was a Civvy to keep up the lifestyle I live now whilst in the military. Now, the lifestyle I live is not a minimalistic one, but it's also not materialistic either. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like shit, just not a lot of it. So firstly, let's break down my current pay as a corporal in the British Army and where it all goes. My annual salary is around £33,200 before tax. After income and national insurance is taken off, my monthly take-home pay is £2,221.21p. Now let's get into my expenses. I'm going to split these up into my needs, wants, savings slash investments. Firstly, my needs. The big one being the house my family and I live in. We are currently in service family accommodation a three bed terraced house with an attached garage built around the 70s or so and an hour train journey from London. For this I paid £247.07p for the house, £32.24p for the garage and £129.58p for the contribution in lieu of council tax. This comes to a total of £408.89p per month and just like tax these three expenses are taken out of my wage before I receive it. When it comes to bills, I pay £90 a month for electricity and £75 a month for gas. As it is an SFA, I do not pay a water bill as that is included in the accommodation charge. So total utility bills are £165 per month, £54 more expensive per month thanks to the recent energy price hikes. My food shop for our three person family comes to an average of £180 per month. And lastly, within my needs is my car which I have on finance at £146.99p per month and with that comes fuel which is normally around £80 per month totalling in £226.99p. With all that added up my total needs come to £980.88p per month. On to my wants. I'm not going to talk through them all individually you can see them on screen now if you're interested but childcare makes up about half of it and that's only for one day a week but my total wants come to £548.76p per month. Finally, on to savings and investments. I put £200 a month into Vanguard, £100 a month into a sink fund, another £100 into an emergency fund, and the final £200 into a LISA, totaling in £600 per month being saved and invested. This has actually gone down from last year due to now paying for childcare. Also, I pay myself first, so this money gets distributed on the first of every month once I get paid. And that's because I've set myself financial goals for the future and I am putting things in place to achieve these goals. With all that added up, that leaves me with £91.57p per month to do with whatever I want. So, if I wanted everything to remain the same except now be a civvy, how much would I have to earn? Well firstly, let's start with the needs. The house I live in on Civvy Street goes for around £1,100 per month for rent and the council tax is £140.56p per month. Now, I know council tax is paid over 10 months instead of 12, but for the ease of this example, I've divided the total amount by 12. That now brings the total accommodation bill to £1,240.56p. Utility bills remain the same, except now I have to also pay a water bill, which is around £38.77p per month, bringing the total utility bill to £203.77p. Food and transport bills remain the same at £180 and £226.99 respectively, per month. That brings the total needs to £1,851.32p, nearly double from what it was earlier. When it comes to wants, again not much has changed but I'm no longer paying service days pays given and I have replaced it with a gym membership as that is not free in City Street. And that's around £20 per month where I live, which brings the total wants to £559.79p. If you're not sure what service days pays given is, I will be making a video on that in the future so subscribe if you want to see that. Savings and investments have no change and stay at £600 per month. I also want to keep that extra £91.57p for whatever I want. With all that added up, my take home monthly pay would need to be £3,102.68p. That's nearly £1,000 more than what it is now and all that has really changed is my rent is higher. So what would my annual gross salary need to be for my monthly take home pay to be that? Before I tell you, pause the video and leave a comment down below Let me know what you think and we'll see if you're close or not. Okay, I would have to earn £49,046.70p a year in Civvy Street to see no change in my lifestyle. That's close to the starting wage of a W01, someone who's done over 20 years service. I've only done eight. 
Whilst not impossible, it's highly unlikely that if I left the army now, I would go straight into a job with a starting wage of that. More than likely, I would have to make changes in my lifestyle. But don't be put off as that amount is quite possible in a household with two incomes. But currently in our household, we don't have that. And even if we did, and my wife had a good enough income to still have money left over after full-time daycare was paid for, that extra money would also be saved and invested. We live a very comfortable and happy lifestyle with just my wage. So any extra income coming into the house would just go towards achieving our financial goals quicker. But all of this is relevant to my family and our own personal circumstances. Yours might vary differently depending on where you want to live as a civvy to what job and income your partner might have. Have a go at it yourself and see what number you come up with. And if you're already living in your own house and paying a mortgage, etc., then you probably don't need to work it out as you're not really getting subsidised accommodation anymore. I wanted to make this video to showcase the impact that our subsidised living has on us if we leave the military. Our subsidised living is a great benefit of the military, but it can also lead to people being very surprised at how much the cost of living actually is on Civvy Street. I really feel for those people struggling to get by on Civvy Street with all the recent price increases in energy bills, national insurance and just inflation in general. I feel there are a lot of people in the military who take for granted just how lucky they actually are to have subsidised living, a secure job, a guaranteed income and many other benefits that come with being in the armed forces. Of course there are cons, but that comes with every job and that is not what this video is about. I have absolutely no issues with people signing off and wanting to leave. I now know my price to leave early and it's around 50k a year. But if you do sign off and leave early, then have a game plan and don't do it without putting some serious thought in what you are going to do in City Street and be prepared to take a lifestyle hit. You might just have to say goodbye to that brand new Beamer you have on finance. If you're interested in taking control and learning more about personal finance, I will link below a number of videos that I've made which can help you. I hope that this video has given you a good comparison in the cost of living between being a squaddy versus being a civvy. Leave a comment below if you want me to show you how to work it all out so you can figure out how much you would need to earn on Civvy Street. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you just saw, please hit the subscribe button up there. And if you want to see some more videos, click over there. See you soon.